coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. St. Lucia joined the Republic of China Taiwan in celebrating its 108th National Day. The Honorable Prime Minister Alan Chastney, along with a delegation, visited Taiwan to join in the celebrations there, while at home, the Governor General Sir Emmanuel Neville Snack and Mystery Snack, Mystery Sir Raquel Dubule Chastney, Honorable Andy Daniel, as well as Cabinet colleagues and the Diplomatic Corps, celebrated. Acting Prime Minister Honorable Ezekiel Joseph said the decision to establish relations with the Republic of China Taiwan some 40 years ago continues to bear tremendous fruit. The acting Prime Minister highlighted the accomplishments in agriculture where farmers are getting back into the banana industry. Technical support led by the Taiwanese is also forthcoming in other areas. As part of the celebrations, a St. Lucian contingent travelled to Taiwan to take part in the Taicheng Jazz Festival and the Taicheng Instruments Festival, including Ronald Bohingson, five members of the band, and technical personnel. Taiwan's 108th National Day celebrations took place on October 10, 2019. Some 768 graduates from across 16 Caribbean countries will graduate from the University of the West Indies Open Campus on Saturday, October 12, 2019. Of the graduates, 561 will receive undergraduate degrees, certificates and diplomas, while 207 will receive postgraduate qualifications. During the ceremony, the University of the West Indies will confer an honorary degree on the Governor-General of St. Kitts and Nevis. He will receive the degree of Doctor of Laws for outstanding public service to his country. Following a recent site visit with contractors throughout St. Lucia, bids have been submitted for the refurbishment of the Blusha Community Centre in Miku under the Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project DVRP. After a tour of the existing facility in August, a town hall style meeting was held with contractors to clarify the bid preparation documents. With funding under the DVRP, the building will be rehabilitated and reopened to serve as a human resource development centre. The community centre will also feature an information technology centre, a meeting slash conference room, office spaces, a music room, demonstration kitchen, cafeteria, events hall with a new stage and expanded balcony, improved circulation flows for emergency purposes and a wheelchair access ramp serving all floors. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.